Hello, my name is Christina. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. This video has been in the works for over a year. In fact, I have taped tons of footage for this and then decided, eh, I don't think I can do this because this video is all about junking. Now, when I say junking, I know everybody has a different definition. Sometimes I'm a bit embarrassed to tell people that, well, I find things curbside very often. But over the years, I've learned from you as I've shared some of the things I've found, you've been in awe and wanted to see more. So this video, I'm sharing it with you. I'm gonna take you on some junking trips with me throughout about a week span and show you some of the treasures I found. Maybe it'll inspire you to go searching for some curbside rescues too. Some people keep their eyes open for curbside treasures all the time. I actively go looking for them. In my neighborhood, I know when everyone's trash day is and I get up early to drive around. Sometimes I find treasures and sometimes I don't. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I will show you everything I found within one week. I was so excited for this little table, but unfortunately when I got it home I found it had more damage than I could handle. If you want more tips and tricks on how to find good junk, you can click on the link to my video called Finding Good Junk. It didn't just need to be glued, the whole corner needed to be rebuilt. Luckily no money had been spent. You never know what you're going to find curbside. In fact, my daughter and I even have a game that whoever can find the lucky toilet first will have good luck the rest of the day. And since I had already found a treasure that day and two lucky toilets side by side, I had a feeling this would be the week I would finally be making the video showing what curbside treasures I could find. Tuesday it is raining and that is not a good day for trashing so no trashing on Tuesday. Wednesdays are trash day in my area so I like it because things are a little closer to home. My treasure hunt began with a 1950s kitchen table. I loaded it in the back and I was off. So often I find old dressers without drawers or drawers without dressers. I mean, where do they go? Why are they not together? Does anyone else see this? If so, comment down below. If you're enjoying this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the bell. It helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. I saw this dumpster outside one of the houses while I was out and about and I had to laugh. I think we're on the same mission. It is helpful that I am an early morning person. I also use my time wisely and sometimes listen to a podcast and drink a huge container of water while I'm out junkin'. Another great advantage is that I get to see a beautiful sunrise. and some days you don't get anything. That was the case this Monday. Why do I junk? Well, <laughs> initially it became out of necessity when I was starting a new home and I had a new daughter. I wanted things nice, but I really didn't have the budget for it. And I was always amazed by what I could find on the curb. And with a little hard work, you could really make these pieces special. The other reason is I love old stuff. Old furniture is so much better built, has so much more character than so many of the items that are made here today. And I love to save them. Most of the pieces that I deal with have no other hope but me to save them because somebody else already thought they were worthless.
It is Tuesday morning and it's time to go out and trash. Let's see what we find. I love to spot a pile of treasures on the side of the road. You really never know what you can find. This table sure was pretty, but it was particle board, not real wood. I also spotted this vintage crib on the side of the road. Although they're no longer safe to be used with children, there's a lot of upcycle projects that you can do with them. I probably should have grabbed this, would you? Comment down below. Sometimes it seems to take forever before you find a treasure. Did you see the dresser? Cute piece, but on further inspection, it was on the curb for a reason. Much of it was broken and unable to be saved. Sometimes I do try to salvage the hardware, but in this case, the hardware was also in rough shape. Oh look, drawers without a dresser. See what I mean? I was beginning to think I would go home again with nothing and not have much of a video to share. And then I came across this. And this. And this. Thank goodness I have a large vehicle to store everything in. Thank you so much for joining me on my junking video. Now let's take a look at some of the items that I found. That was four days of junking. And actually, when I decided to kind of shut down this video on the fifth day that I went out, I didn't tape anything, but I did find some treasures that I'll include in this video to show you what I discovered. Don't worry about the bad veneer on this beauty. I have an easy fix for that. If you want to learn my trick too, click on the link to the video above. I'm always amazed by what's out there. Now it's not predictable, but sometimes I feel like the junk universe gives you exactly what you need. Let's take a look at some of the treasures that I have found over the years. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this 
video has inspired you that real treasures can be found almost anywhere. Now get out there and salvage, repurpose, and create. If you have curbside treasures that you want to make look pretty again, feel free to shop my website for all of the supplies you will need at shoptheturnblag.com or if you're local, you can shop my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan.